In this video, I'm going to discuss type errors in Python. In particular, I'm going to examine the type errors that occur when a programmer attempts to apply an operator to types that the operator does not support. Assignment statements are used to create variables in Python. We commonly visualize an assignment statement as creating a box with a label on it that holds a value. This is an effective visualization, but it's important to remember that, in addition to holding a value, a variable also keeps track of the type of the value that is stored in it. For example, these three assignment statements all create variables that store the value 5, but the first holds 5 as an integer, the second holds 5 as a floating point number, and the third holds 5 as a string. The type of the value stored in a variable determines what operators can legally be applied to the variable and how the operators behave. Many of Python's operators are flexible and can be applied to values of different types, but the set of types which is valid depends on the particular operator. For example, the plus operator can be applied to an integer and a floating point value or a pair of strings, but it can't be applied to an integer and a string. Attempting to do so will result in a type error due to unsupported operand types. Python reports the error message on the line containing the operator that could not be evaluated due to unsupported operand types, but this may not be the location in the program that needs to be modified to correct the problem. Consider, for example, this program, which converts a temperature from degrees Celsius to Kelvin and degrees Fahrenheit. When it executes, it reads a value from the user and then reports a type error on line 5 because 273.15 is a floating point number, but Celsius is a string. One could attempt to correct the error by converting Celsius to a floating point number on that line by adding a call to the float function, but doing so only solves the immediate problem and causes the program to now report an error on line 6. The message for this type error is different, but the cause of the error is the same. Values of unsupported types were provided to an operator. This time, it's the asterisk operator that is used for multiplication on numeric types and can also be used to repeat a string an integer number of times. But in this case, the value to the left of the asterisk is a string, and the value to the right of the asterisk is a floating point number. This combination of types is not supported by the asterisk operator, and the error message indicates such by stating that it isn't possible to multiply a sequence by a floating point number. Once again, we could solve the immediate problem by converting Celsius to a floating point number on this line, but just like last time, that doesn't solve the underlying problem and will require additional changes on the lines that follow. The real problem with this program is that the value read from the user is stored as a string, not a floating point number. This has occurred because the input function, which is called on line 2, always returns a string, even when the user enters a sequence of digits. Let's revert our program to its original form by removing the calls to float from lines 5 and 6. If we want the value entered by the user to be stored as a number, we must explicitly change its type. In this case, we want the value to be stored as a floating point number, so the float function will be used to perform the conversion by including it on line 2 where the user input is read. Performing the conversion at this point stores the user's input as a floating point value and allows the subsequent calculations to be performed as intended because the operators are only being applied to floating point numbers instead of a combination of floating point numbers and strings. Once this change is made, the program runs to completion, successfully converting the temperature from degrees Celsius to the other units of temperature. I'm going to finish this examination of type errors by considering a slightly different version of our original temperature conversion program where the conversion to a floating point number is omitted and the calculation of the Kelvin value is expressed as Celsius plus 273.15 rather than being expressed as 273.15 plus Celsius. Mathematically, these are equivalent, but the error message provided by Python is different. In this case, the message states that one can only concatenate a string to a string, not a floating point value to a string. This version of the error message occurs when the left operand to plus is a string and the right operand is a float. Just like last time, this error is corrected by converting the user's input into a floating point value at the point where it was read.
This video has examined three different Python type error messages. While the error messages are different, they all occurred because of an attempt to apply an operator to a combination of types that it doesn't support. In each case, the error is corrected by converting one of the values to which the operator is applied to the correct type, noting that the conversion may be best performed at an earlier point in the program rather than the line on which the error is reported. I hope that watching this video has increased your understanding of Python type errors and will better enable you to identify and correct such errors in your own programs.